Welcome back for the second portion of Join Our Town. Thank you for joining us once again. I'm your host, Tammy Jill Johnson. Our guest for this segment is Jessica Stone, Summer Camp Director for the Gehanna Christian Academy Summer Adventure Camp. She joins us today to share important information regarding youth summer activities in Gehanna, Ohio, along with how children can benefit from being outside during the summer season. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Jessica. Oh, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. So before we get started and talking about all the fun summer stuff. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> tell me a little bit about yourself personally and your history with Gehanna Christian Academy and the summer camp that's coming up. Absolutely. I actually found out about Gehanna Christian Academy. I had been attending one church for several years and they actually were given this incredible opportunity. They started out in a real small church in New Albany and were able to, as they expanded and kind of outgrew the little church that we were in in New Albany, were able to move into the facility that is Gehanna Christian Academy to that school, which can hold just a much larger amount of people. Right. So we moved in there, and my dad is actually the executive pastor of one church, and I've absolutely been in love with that church since I started mm -hmm. going there several years ago. I think three or four years now. Okay. And I met the principal. I was able to just get involved uh, with some of the kids' programs and stuff there. And that's how I uh, came about the opportunity to be the summer camp counselor. So before, before we get started into the safety and stuff of the activities, what are the age ranges for the summer camp? It is going to be preschool through sixth grade. So preschool meaning that they have to have already gone through preschool or that they have to turn five before summer? Like how does that work? If they're starting into preschool or if, they, if they've if they turned five before summer, that's probably a better okay. way of phrasing turn it. Five. Yes, ma'am. All the way up until? Sixth grade. So okay. if they're going into their sixth grade year after the summer, we're, but I, he's not super particular about the age groups the principal isn't. Okay. So we're it's it's gonna be we have a good diverse range of ages that we have wow. for our kids. Yeah. Now and a lot of people um, aren't really aware of how summer camp works. I know that you guys separate the kids according to the age groups just for activity purposes. Sure. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what goes on at summer camp? Just for parents that just kind of drop their kids off and then they go. Absolutely. And it is. It's open from 7 to 6 p.m. And a lot of our kids will be staying all day long. So we have, when they first get there, we check in. We'll have games set up. So we have several of their staff there, obviously, with other counselors that are going to be there. So when they come check in, we have games. We always have activities planned so there's something for the kids to do some kind of reading and then two days a week we actually do go to the pool mm -hmm. so that's Mondays and Wednesdays so we'll have an activity there when they come back we have a lot of educational opportunities there so just stuff so that their summer isn't being frittered away on phones or video games or watching movies right, right. Uh, we'll have events where there's a really neat pond out back. I have a friend who's a biologist who's going to be coming in and doing stuff with the kids, um, teaching them just about local wildlife and biology. So the days are going to be busy. We also will have, a t the, the days vary so much, so a typical day could look like getting there and checking in, uh, working on if they've got homework that's been sent with them throughout the summer to work mm -hmm. on, could be reading some kind of game and then going on whatever event we have that day, most days we'll have something going on. Then we'll come back, wind down a little bit, have snacks, the kids pack and bring their own lunches. Okay. And then the parents come to pick up. We have some guest performers coming in and doing wow. uh, dances and teaching dance classes and stuff like that. So So the, the staff that are um, taking part in the summer camp, they're like trained. Are they teachers that were subbing or teachers that were teaching during the school year or what? what That's what's really neat. Two of the girls that I have coming have worked previous years at the Gehanna Christian Academy summer okay. camp. So they have had experience with kids. One of them's been a nanny for uh, four or five years now, so has a lot of experience. And then we also have some of the teachers that were wanting to come on over the summer and also be camp counselors. So right. some of the actual teachers at Gehanna Christian Academy are coming on as well. Wow. Summertime is such a, I mean, it's such a fun time for the kids. They're ready to go. Um, a lot of them Absolutely. are trying to, they're going to try to be stuck to these, you know. Exactly. But when they get to the camp, they're going to realize that a whole other world awaits them. That's what so we're hoping for. Absolutely. Safety is going to be a big issue. Let's talk about that a little bit. Sure. Um, what are, what is the camp doing to ensure the safety, the overall safety of the kids, particularly pool safety? Yes, ma'am. And um, 
just the the you can give us the ratios of what that's going to be like and you know different things like that sure so. absolutely uh, we were just talking about this today so before the parents will even get their kids off and off to the races for the week we will have sent out an email with an itinerary so they know exactly what's coming up so they know exactly what's on the agenda and reminding them sunscreen is huge first and foremost at a pool sunscreen and it doesn't matter what race you are Exactly. Okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yep. No, that's so true. And I think that that's a really good reminder no matter what. Just mm -hmm. always, always. Um, so we will be, sunscreen's going to be a huge priority. And then if their children are younger, uh, pack, it sounds kind of silly, but pack arm floaties. Pack little yeah. uh, safety vests that they can wear. And just always let the parents know so that where we're going to be going. Um, we do have buses that accommodate the correct amount of kids that we have so that everyone can be seat belted, um, taken care of, and then we will always have a, uh, I can't remember the exact ratio, I think it was a teacher or a counselor for every 10 kids that we have. Okay. So the, the, the legal limit was something around, I, I can't remember honestly exactly. Well, it's fine, yeah, yeah, number, but there is gonna be safe But around 20, so we can... have it, I mean, even absolutely, and on days where we go on field trips, on pool days, mm -hmm. we're always going to have extra uh, volunteers, extra counselors, okay. extra people there to keep an eye on the kids. Can parents volunteer? Absolutely, yep, and we're going to be also setting up parents' nights so that they can come and see when we do arts and crafts, things like that, little skits, what exactly what their kids have been doing nice. during the summer. What about um, kids that may have special needs or medication? Do you guys do that too? We do, absolutely, and we have a binder that we take with us on all of our field trips that lists out allergies, medications, uh, emergency contacts, so that at all times we're prepared just in case anything were to come up wow. and then we'll send out two in that weekly email just extra reminders to the parents make sure that they're uh, sending along the correct stuff that they are letting us know ahead of time but yes we're absolutely staffed and ready and can accommodate any kids that want to come are all the staff trained in like CPR and things like they that? are yep fully trained and then background checked of course, of course. as well you know, in talking about safety, I don't know what just made me think of this, but bug spray is another one that we're yeah. going to be encouraging the parents to send along with their kids. Right, because of the mosquito thing. Exactly. I know. Right. I know. That's huge. And we'll have it, too, okay. obviously, on the school premises, but just to make sure a little extra backup can't ever hurt. Right. So um, I know and there are a lot of newer parents, like the ones that have small children, yes. maybe one or, you know, maybe one child, first child. Um, and they're, they're, they're different in a school environment. It's kind of different. It's a big sure. school. You know, everybody's doing the, they're sitting at a desk. They're doing what they're supposed yes. to. How can you ease the mind of parents that are sitting there preschooler to summer camp all day for like the first summer? I, I would personally be really nervous yeah, too if I, I was a well, parent. The, look, have you seen the commercial about the third kid? By the time you get to the third kid, <laughs> it's like, bye, see you later. And that's so, what you said you had three, yeah. right? So you probably have experience with mm -hmm. that too. But there are parents that are only their first time parents. So what would you suggest? I would, I would absolutely recommend if they're able to, that they can stay for an hour. They can come early when they pick them up, just if they want to observe, mm -hmm. if they'd like to come along on a field trip, if they're able to, right. or meet us there, they are 100% uh, more than welcome to and I'm very open so everyone has my contact information email phone number if anyone has concerns wants to talk to me personally they're more than welcome to always do that awesome. um, and they can keep in contact with us anytime they want to through when we're at the school and they'll always know exactly where we're going to be and what time so that if they need to stop by if they're concerned at least they always will know what's going on um, are you guys going to keep parents updated on social media at all we are actually so we're going to be That's putting so cool. up a Facebook Facebook page. Yeah. Yep. So I plan to, we even have some people that are volunteers at one church to come in and do fun little videos, pictures, stuff like that, mm -hmm. just so parents can see what's going on. And like I said, have parents days mm -hmm. so that they can really come observe what's been going on, meet me and just get more comfortable with the other staff that's there because once they, they're going to fall in love, our staff is yeah. phenomenal this summer. I'm okay. so excited. So let's move up a little bit in age bracket. So we got preschoolers sure. going up into like the elementary range. Absolutely. Um, those kids, you know, I know the ratio is going to be a little different for them. Do they get to go on field trips and stuff like that too? Yes, and the fun thing about that is so that it's going to be hitting interest in every age. We have naturalists scheduled at different metro parks so that when we go on nature walks, they're going to be learning about the different wildlife. There's going to be, so on different levels, you know, so if a if a preschooler is not really understanding butterfly metamorphosis or something like right. that, you know, the older kids who are interested in biology or anything like that can still be engaged. Mm -hmm. um, but we have 
we have a really, really good, uh, I think, itinerary, itinerary. set up, so that's going to be engaging all different ages. Okay. What about the older students? Um, are you guys going to, and you may not have discussed this yet, I don't know, but are you guys going to allow them to bring their tablets and phones? Is it going to be a tablet and phone free environment? That's a really good question, and that's something I hadn't even crossed my mind, to be perfectly honest. I like that. I'm one of those people that if I'm even out to dinner with friends, I'll put my phone away in my purse and, and just make sure that it yeah. can be. And I would love for the kids to be 110% engaged. engaged. I, absolutely. It's very important, especially with all the bullying and stuff. Are you guys, yes. do you have like someone coming to talk to them about that and the behavioral expectations? That's actually a really, really good Oops. idea. <laughs> no, because we have a lot of resources and people that that would be more than capable and willing right, to do that to do 100%. That. Oh, absolutely. So we have people set up to go over safety, just like you were talking about with mm -hmm. sunscreen and with, uh, so, but we absolutely, we actually, that's funny that you should say that. We have a young lady in our church that put together for her school an anti-bullying task force that have she- her bring it right that, on to I'm the, so yep. glad you said that, like have a little her, light bulb just yep. went off, so have I'll have my girl right come in. Because they're the same kids. Exactly, they're the same kids exactly. in, the, in the ministry, they're just coming for the summer you know, in a, in a bigger sense, right? Absolutely. We, we really, I mean, I, I appreciate you being on the show because I know a lot of times parents during the school year especially, they want to keep their kids away from the electronics, yes. but they want to keep them safe. And kids Absolutely. are always talking about how bored they are, they never get to do anything. Being away and out like that, like, Touching stuff. Yes. Learning about vegetables that they've never seen before. Absolutely. Things like that. I mean, I know that they're looking forward to doing that. And I know you're looking forward to being a director. This is your oh, first time, so right? So much so. I, this is my first time with Gehanna Christian Academy, and I am thrilled to pieces. Oh. We even, it's funny that you should say we even have a little garden out back of the school that the kids are going to be working in and actually planting vegetables and then throughout the summer growing cherry tomatoes and trying them. So just like you were saying, getting out there and touching Excellent. and experiencing real things like that. Absolutely. And, Believe it or not, it overflows into the school year. And so now that they've had that experience, they've had to break away from the social media, it's like now they're going into the school year yes. focused and calm. Okay. That's my hope. Good. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Jessica. Um, before we wrap up the show, sure. if you can give, let's say, let's say there's a kids watching the show, like teenagers, older kids. Absolutely. And they're absolutely. kind of nervous about going to school camp. Give us like two things that you can tell them. I completely understand because I was nervous coming in here today. When right. you, whenever you're going into something new and different, it is nerve wracking. One of the first and foremost things that I can say that comes to my mind would be, it's okay to be nervous. Okay. That's just a feeling and you can, you can power right through that. Okay. Um, one thing I would say is for the older students too, one thing that helps take the focus so much off of yourself and can help take away some of your nerves, look out for the younger students. Look for someone else who looks nervous. Go out of your way and introduce yourself and don't be afraid to even say like, Hey, this is a new situation for me. Do you know? Do you know the ropes, or can I help you figure anything out? Awesome. Looking out for that other person, it's amazing how that can kind of take away some of your own fear and put the focus on somebody else. Awesome! Thank you so much for being here with us. Today. Oh, thank you, Tammy. This You're was welcome. so fun. Oh, Thanks for having you're me. You're welcome. <laughs> That's our program. Thank you so much for watching. You can also check us out on Facebook at WSFJ-TV51. Join us again next week at the same time for Join Our Town. This program has been sponsored by the Trinity Broadcasting Network and is made possible by your telethon dollars. Your continual support can keep Joy in Our Town coming to your home every week. Write to Joy in Our Town, 7790 North Central Drive, Lewis Center, Ohio, 43035.